Hey guys, before this video begins, I just wanted to mention that the quality of this video, whether it be audio or video, may be very poor due to it being recorded in a Discord voice call. Despite that, I hope you guys still enjoy the return of Lawrence as a person. Hello everyone, my name is Lawrence as a person, and today, I'm not making a video. I'm actually on a Discord call and people are making a video of this. So, to those people recording this, you're welcome. I have given your channel free con. So, today we're doing something very, very ancient. Something that I have not done in two years. And that is review a Lego Beyblade. That is right, I'm reviewing a Lego Beyblade live in front of you. And this Lego Beyblade is something you have not seen before. Something you folks are in for a treat for. And today we are we are reviewing this unknown Lego Beyblade that I, I just made for fun one day and uh, just never reviewed. I actually made this quite recently and I just never thought about making a video on it. So uh, let's begin <laughs> with review. Alright gamers, so today we have this unknown Beyblade that I just made. Uh, it was intended to be an evolution of the second Beyblade I made on this channel called Blaze Vulpix. So it's just a tribute Beyblade right here. As you notice, this design takes some inspiration from it, but I've completely deviated because the standards of Lego Beyblade are like here. And like, I was like doing it for the nostalgia. So it, my my expectations were here. And then and then Diego, Diego LVV uh, said, you need to do better. And then I did better for him. So this is for you, Diego. In terms of its design, this is an attack type, very obvious. As you can see, it's got two big contact points right here right here it's some pros to create some impact and that's pretty flat on the side so it'll do some yeah. pretty big smacking all right because uh of the design principles right you can't have the entire beyblade look too aggressive otherwise it's going to explode so this side these two parts right here the north and south contact points are a bit smoother while your east and west are a lot more aggressive all right in terms of the parts this is metal system now you'll notice something with this metal system right here is that it looks a little bit different is that because during the time i was gone and two years ago i figured a way to perfect the metal system and how to ensure the perfect disconnection and this is done by using a technic pin like that looks like this and a regular brick and you put it in like this now what this does is it allows the bay instead of bursting sideways like this now the bay bursts up and bursting up is a lot harder than bursting sideways right in addition it also creates an adaptable gap right so it can adapt to any disc so your burst disc security is very tight anyways here is our layer right here i went over it as you notice the technic pin is on the bottom right here then you put your disc on and then you take this brick right here and now you have your disc and driver by the way the disc is zero and the driver is something i made literally last minute because i'm doing this on a discord call and all you have to do now is insert that disc into the tube and guess what look burst this security it's very tight and the only way to burst this beyblade is up all right so yeah there's this beyblade all right, gamers, today we're gonna try to battle this to showcase the new metal system. Now, the thing I've learned during my time at LEGO Beyblade is the number one thing LEGO Beyblades need is space. Because if you launch at full strength, everything's gonna explode. Unfortunately, I am I'm not importing a, um, a stadium from Japan. So uh, I just have a Pro Series Stadium here, right? Uh, it, it does the job. It does the job here, but it is a little bit small. I wish it was a little bit bigger. Anyways, today's opponent is going to be uh, the notorious Typhon, not Typhon, Quintilian Quaza right here. Uh, it's an evolution made with the metal system right here, right? Uh, it's a lot better now because it is incorporating that same metal system that, what's it called, the bay I'm reviewing uses. And the burst disc security is a little bit better now because I've changed the tabs that hold the disc 
into these little things. In terms of Typhon's gimmick, it's kind of the opposite of uh, what's it called? Uh, dragon. So basically, when you launch hard, these wings pop out. And then when you hit them, they go in and you get a defense mode. All right? So let's do this. There goes Typhon Quaza. I'm at Quintilian Quaza. All right. That's so cool. Quaza just died. Oh, Quaza lost. I would launch that so weak. Okay. Sorry. Um, game time. <laughs> um, so I realized that uh, Lego Beyblades cannot thrive without adhesive. And I've realized I put barely any adhesive on those Lego Beyblades, so the bows really do suck. Uh, I apologize for that. I, make to, I would like to make this a formal apology. I've lied. Uh, not really, because I just need to put adhesive on them. Um, and yeah. That is all for today, my friends. Uh, if you're wondering uh, what I was doing while I was gone, I dedicated my life to the saxophone. Uh, I made it to all state. That's pretty cool with this thing. And I will now basically do my outro on um, on this thing. Thanks for watching this Discord version of Lawrence is a Person. And uh, we'll see you next time. Maybe. <laughs>